at Rafa's garage today. Today we're working on the truck. There's some things that I don't like on this, which is the headliner coming off. Same thing there and over there. There's a little spot here too and over there. This is my work truck. And what we're gonna use is some 3M adhesive. I bought this from AutoZone. This was like 20 bucks. And then I'm gonna use some hot glue gun. And this was like probably like five bucks at Walmart. Um, and also gonna need some needle, uh, syringe needles, which later on I'm gonna glue on the cap right here. That way I'm able to poke a hole right here and then actually spray some of this <clears throat> adhesive. Um, and I'm also gonna use some fucking paper just so I don't smear it everywhere when I spray some right here. So I'm gonna focus on this one first, which is easier. I don't need that syringe needle, that one and that one right there. And then later on, I'll get to this little part and that big old part right there. So since this headliner is very, very thin, maybe it'll show the glue. That's why I want to just throw small little layers of fucking glue on that one. I have no really control because it's going to be a needle. So there might be some little stains on it, but I think I'd rather deal with a small stain like something like that. And then that. I ended up getting some cardboard because that paper wasn't sturdy enough. So. I'm gonna spray some of it. It's kind of hard. I'm not worried about getting it on the window because I can always scrape it up. <laughs> sit for a little bit and then i'm just gonna start pushing it in and forming it trying to get all those wriggles out or wrinkles out <laughs> see those spots i ended up adding more than what i was supposed to just small little layers same thing with that one but overall it looks better than that on that side i would actually tone it down a little bit but at least we got the first part now that part and then that one that one's gonna be easy because the door is gonna be open but these are harder because there's no more it's not that much angle you could do time to do this side now and like i told you this one's fairly easy because you're able to spray it and touch it up real quick so this side's done this one came a little better the only one that over sprayed a little bit was there and then a the small little spot right there i didn't add enough glue right here but yeah way better than it was before way better you can't even tell when you're on here sitting down now for the easiest part this one right here hopefully i don't over spray just spray it uh let it sit for a little bit let it dry and then gently softly just start doing it um make sure you do have clean hands because if not you're just gonna dirty your headliner unless it's black you can't even tell when it's black, you could throw as much as you want. You're not gonna see it in black. So time to do the easy part. So 
It's not overspray. So there it is. It wasn't the best, but I didn't get no stains. The only reason why it didn't come out so good is because the camera fell and yeah, I had to do it off camera and this thing was drying. So um, I could do it, I could touch it up, but I'm fine with it right now. Maybe later if it starts dragging again, I'll touch it up. But as far as right now, it looks way better than what it was before. And then time to get this ready so I could do that one. And then there's another one right there. But this one is big. That other one is small. So, time to put this little syringe. I'm just gonna hot glue it right there. Um, that way I could get the other spots that are inside the headliner. That way this could poke in it and throw some glue in there and then take it out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. These, I bought them from Amazon. Probably like five bucks, 50 pack. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. So there it is, put a lot of glue on it. Um, so let's see if it works, it already dried up. So there you go, that's how it's gonna work. So there it is, it worked. Um, and remember to keep the cap, that way you could cap it up and you should be able to reuse it. Um, I'm gonna do this tomorrow actually because it's already getting dark so tomorrow i'll finish it up uh, there it is not the best work but just what i mean it's not sagging but all that overspray because i couldn't see where i was hitting that's what ends up happening when you have a thin layer of fucking brown or white or tan whatever you want to call it if it would have been black you would hardly notice that but it's not so it is what it is